a live look from our strat cam and I want to bring in meteorologist Danny Beckstrom and just a side note Danny I know you're tracking the rain right now but one of the things I love about living in the valley is you can see those rain bands from miles and miles uh, away and it's just a cool sight. It's so beautiful but it also points out the fact that it's so specific which areas do get rain. Something mm. we hear all the time with monsoon storms is I didn't see anything in my neighborhood yet in a couple miles away. There was just an absolute downpour. These storms are very hit or miss, so I totally understand that not everyone in the valley is dealing with any sort of action. Some spots could have stayed completely dry today, while others are dealing with just torrential rain and very gusty wind. It's very hit or miss, and that's what we expect through the rest of tonight as well. Want to start here in Henderson, where we're still seeing this flash flood warning, and for good reason. This training thunderstorm just dumped torrential rain. Uh, the washes are going to fill up really quickly the dry creek bed so please be careful do not drive through flooded streets which is something that we're going to be dealing with this is of course a very heavily trafficked area under this flash flood warning until 545 seeing another strike here with this thunderstorm that's kind of re-strengthening a little bit in Henderson near Boulder City a thunderstorm tracking north toward Lake Mead and in general just a lot of spotty areas of rain through Anthem Green Valley uh, over through Henderson even it looks like Southern Highlands picking up some thunderstorm activity on the west side we're still seeing these flash flood warnings, one near Indian Springs, one near Summerlin and uh, Lone Mountain. These are still in effect, although currently not raining. That being said, again, the washes are going to be a little more full than what we typically see because typically they're dry, right? Not the case tonight. Also tracking the severe thunderstorm warning uh, for southern Lincoln County that due to the torrential rain and the very gusty wind radar indicated gust speeds up to about 60 miles per hour. Flooding is a big risk for all of southern Nevada tonight. A flash flood watch actually in place through 9 p.m. and this was a great call by the National Weather Service, considering uh, the thunderstorms that did develop so far today have produced flash flooding and the potential for it will continue through tonight. So let's put futurecast into play as we uh, move into dinner time. The storm chances continue uh, through five, through six, through seven. The spotty thunderstorms are still going to be expected across southern Nevada. Again, it's not completely widespread. Some neighborhoods will stay dry, but the potential is high enough with chances 30 to 40% that you have a pretty good shot of seeing some storm, sort of activity. We'll dry out as soon as the sun sets, and tomorrow our storm chances actually drop only about 10% for both Friday and Saturday before the next surge of more significant moisture moves uh, those storm chances back up to 50% by Monday. It is feel very, feeling very muggy outside right now. Dew points in the 60s, temperatures just in the 90s, so we're capped well below the seasonal average, all due to the cloud cover and rain again tomorrow partly cloudy mostly cloudy for Saturday and Sunday but those storm chances do return heading into the start of next week our highs are limited more than 10 degrees below normal and Monday a 50% storm chance so this monsoon moisture it's not moving out anytime soon